What's up guys? You voted for him and here he is. It's Kingo, played by Kumail Nanjiani. And of course, if you missed the review of Icarus, Circe, or Crow, you can just click the links right up here or down in the description below. And that leaves only two Eternals left from my original Eternals haul, so make sure to go into my community tab and vote for Phaistos or Makari to be next. May the best Eternal win. And I just realized Iron Man is still in the shot. Gotta move him out of there, get him out of the frame. Okay, that's better. And of course, more Eternals reviews will come as I find the other two, Druig and Sprite. And of course, Ajax and Thena whenever they even show up for pre-order. And with that said, let's go and get this review started. Starting with box front, it's the same as all the other Marvel Legends Eternals. And on the side, you have the glam shot of Kumail, which is in full on the back here. And it actually looks pretty good. The likeness is pretty close. There's the wording if you want to read that. Lego Jumbo, the other figures, and of course the bottom with the UP Focus C. And there he is guys, out of the package. Kingo, played by comedian Kumail Nanjiani. If you could literally die of laughter, he would be the harbinger of death. His punchlines would be the literal end of you. Knock knock, who's there? Cosmic finger energy beams. You're dead. All right, I'm gonna stop while I'm ahead, so let's go and take a closer look at Kingo. All right, now starting with the face, he actually has a pretty good likeness to Kumail. It's not spot on like the others, but it is not bad for what it's worth. And the hair looks great as well, nicely sculpted, good texture, has some good volume to it as well. Seems like somebody has been using some Paul Mitchell. Now a little side note here, I'll pop the head off, which is on a dog bone joint, as you can see. Mine actually, when they put the head on, it actually crushed this side right there. You can still kind of see it a little bit. It like smushed it down when they shoved it on there. But of course I was able to pop it back correctly and then I just kind of moved his head that way and then it pressed it back. Left it like that for about a day and it's a lot better now. So if you have that issue too with this or any other, you know, Eternals figure, you can just hopefully do that. And an interesting side note I've noticed is they seem to like giving the comedic actors almost a semi kind of funny, smirky, goofy face sometimes. Like here's Lewis, another funny guy in the MCU. He's got that kind of smile going on there like what's up and then of course don't forget the old famous Paul Rudd head no not that one ha there we go that one you guys remember this the Paul Rudd smirk yeah kind of goes great with Kumail what's up we're gonna make you laugh and he's gonna kill you after and moving into the body I have to say straight off the bat that this so far is my favorite Eternals that I have opened so far more so than Cersei's. I mean, Cersei I like because it's Gemma Chan, you know, support the Asian actors. But this, oh, the just the texture, the quality of this, it's just, the purple just looks fantastic. The purple just has a very nice shimmer to it, as you can see, and it's just so smoothly textured. It's, whew, love the color of the purple as well. Plus two, take a look at his chest piece right there. As you can see, it's silver and then there's gold, nice texture in there but there's actually thin gold rings inside the silver. Let's see if we can catch that, there we go. You can see that there. That is some seriously accurate paint job right there. I mean, I can just imagine if you messed it up or blotched it, you just have a big blob. So that's some seriously good paint applications. And just to give you an idea, let me grab Icarus and Cersei over here. As you can see, Icarus, Icarus, doesn't have that detail. It has a nice gold and the thin lines, but it doesn't have the gold inside the silver like Kumail does. Neither does Cersei. It's just silver. So, I mean, this is some incredible bad focusing paint job. And of course, a nice paint job continues down there. Nice gold lines going all the way down. This is a little miss the mark right there. You can see that and then it's supposed to line up with that, so they totally missed that application there. But either way, the rest looks really nice. I mean, this is where I would have expected the application to be missed. And then you got the back there, nice line detail. It goes all the way inside to the joint as well. Whew, just this purple, the sheen. You gotta see this in person, yo. It just looks so nice. Just look at that sheen of the purple there. It's got this nice softness to it as well. This one's a little bit stiffer, but it's not too bad. And then this one's got a nice softness as well. You can see his purple booty. And then his arm has a nice gold trim over his shoulder with some shoulders that look like marble. It's weird, it's just marbled plastic, but it actually works here. It gives it a very kind of cosmic, eternally look to it. And you got more of that nice purple, another gold trim that goes all the way around his arm there. 
which looks nice, or at least on the forearm outside here. And there's the inside, and just the paint job overall looks so great. It's like I said, if anything, this Eternal line will be known for their paint job. And then moving into the legs, which is a little bit hard to see because of the big flat loincloth there. Not too much going on with the legs there, as you can see, just some line details. Nothing too fancy all in that nice shimmery purple. He's got some nice paint job there on his leg boot things. And then you got his feet there, which are a different color as well. Pretty nice looking. Then you got the bottom right there with the Lego Jumbo. And for articulation, his head rotates in the usual circle. He's got some good side to side, thanks to that dog bone joint there. Looks that far up, that far down. And his arm rotates in the circle. Shoulder goes that high, pretty decent. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbow. And then his hand actually does a flapper doodle on both of them, regardless of his cosmic finger beams. Was kind of hoping it would go up and down, that way you can kind of make him go pew pew, you know, but oh well. And his torso's on a ball joint, keeping a nice clean sculpt there, and it has some clicks to it with some moderate range of articulation there as you can see not too much but still decent now his legs do have limited movement because of this piece right here so it only goes about that much if you push it more you risk tearing that right there then going backwards only goes that much so not that much either also something to be aware of is you can attempt to do a splits and it feels like he can go farther but you start risking a tear right there the back isn't quite so bad. It does give you some flex, as you can see. It's just right there. Once it starts tearing, you're done. So I wouldn't push it if I were you. And then you have the usual thigh swivel, which is hidden by the cloth there, rubber plastic cloth. But he does have a double jointed knee and his foot goes that far forward, that far back, and spins. And for accessories, he comes with one additional cosmic finger beam and one fist. Now at first I thought he came with two fists here as you can see, but then I realized this fist is actually for the Baff Gilgamesh arm, since that's an open hand, so yeah. Don't be confused by that, like I was. And there he is with his double cosmic finger beams. Now I really wish it had the up and down joint, that way I can really make him doing the whole how you doing, but you know, it's just about as close as you can get, unfortunately. Plus this, this one right here is kind of curved. I guess they didn't package it very well and I tried to uncurve it, but it, it didn't work as you can see. But either way, pretty cool with his double cosmic beam. Or actually are they ultimate booger pickers? Hmm. And for some comparisons, here he is next to his fellow Eternals with room to grow. And here he is next to fellow comedian Paul Rudd and funny man Luis Pena. Can you imagine a scene with these three guys? The universe would literally explode. Thankfully, he's an Eternal. Here he is next to Infinity Saga Legends. Here he is next to Jazzwares Fortnite. I forgot how many Fortnite figures I have, but I am looking forward to Hasbro's Fortnite figures. Here he is next to his fellow Eternal. Oh wait, I already did that. Here's him next to him talking about him. All right, now where's that bird? All right, here he is next to Mr. Burby. Don't eat him. Don't eat him. No, don't eat him. I see that look in your face. Don't eat him. Good boy. Well, guys, overall, he is my favorite Eternal thus far that I have opened. The gorgeous purple, the nice sheen and texture of the suit, and the very intricate silver and gold detail on his chest? That's some impressive manufacturing there by Hasbro. Whoop, I just noticed poor Shang just got his butt beat by Xi Ling again. Anywho, I still have two remaining figures from my original haul, Faistos and Makari, so don't forget to vote in my community tab or in the comments to let me know who you want to see first. And of course, don't forget Druig, Sprite, Ajax, and Thena as soon as I find them. Oh, and Gilgamesh once I'm able to build them. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you see every review that comes out. When it comes out. Because that's how subscriptions work. Plus, it's free. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.